the unthinkable just happened. Our planet came to a screeching halt for a mere seven seconds. Yes, you heard that right. Okay, not really, but just imagine our entire planet frozen time for seven seconds. Let's embark on a thrilling thought experiment that'll leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about our world. Normally, Earth makes one full rotation every day, giving us our beloved day and night. It's been spinning since its wild younger days, about 4.6 billion years ago, when it was just a giant cosmic dust bunny swirling around the sun. This rotation barely slowed down over billions of years, is what keeps our day and nights in a reliable 24-hour loop. But what if, out of the blue, it just stopped for 7 seconds? Think about the sun for a moment. It's always so punctual, rising and setting every day like clockwork. But if Earth stopped, the sun would hang in the sky like a picture frozen in time. For those on the other side of the planet, an unexpected extension of their night. Now, hold on to your hats, literally. The atmosphere, which is used to moving in sync with the Earth, wouldn't stop right away. We're not talking about a gentle breeze that rustles your hair. These are winds that could give the most extreme weather a run for its money, especially around the equator, where the Earth's spin is the fastest. But before you start worrying about flying off into space, remember, gravity isn't going on a break. It's still keeping us firmly on the ground. The experience, though, would be surreal. Imagine explaining to someone that for seven seconds, you were in a world where everything, including the sun, just paused. Let's talk about buildings for a second. A brick building can house hundreds of people because its floors and beams are designed to handle their weight. But in the face of Earth's sudden stop, the inertia pushing the building eastward would be far stronger than any mortar holding the bricks together. The result? buildings could be ripped apart as if they were made of cardboard. If you're as intrigued by this cosmic what-if scenario as we are, hit the like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Now that we've seen the immediate chaos, what about the aftermath of Earth's sudden pause? If Earth stopped, oceans might not get the memo immediately. We could have some rather unexpected beachfront property. Imagine taking a walk along the equator, where normally you'll need a boat. The winds resulting from Earth's abrupt stop will be strong enough to cause catastrophic geological upheaval. Imagine winds so fierce that they don't just knock you over, they could tear apart the Earth's crust itself. To give you a perspective on the intensity of these winds, think about the strongest F5 tornadoes, which have velocities up to 511 kilometers an hour or 318 miles per hour. These tornadoes can move houses off their foundations and hurl cars through the air. Now the winds from Earth's sudden stop would be three times stronger than that. So if the ground beneath you didn't crumble, you and everything else could be sent flying, though not off the face of the Earth. The escape velocity from Earth is about 40,000 kilometers per hour or 25,000 miles per hour. So while you wouldn't be launched into space, the experience would be terrifyingly intense. Even in parts of the world like New Zealand or France, where winds would be slightly less severe, you'd still face speeds of about 1,180 km an hour or 733 miles per hour, far beyond any storm ever recorded. In these seven seconds, winds wouldn't be your only concern. Our planet, which is not a perfect sphere and bulges near the equator, would undergo a rapid transformation. Without the centrifugal forces from rotation, Earth would start reshaping into a more perfect sphere. This would cause massive tsunamis as water gathered near the equator would rush towards the poles. And while Earth starts spinning again, that water would come surging back, creating a catastrophic double tsunami. The safest spots during this crazy seven second stop would be near the North or South Poles. Why? Because the wild winds would be a bit calmer there. But don't get too cozy thinking about the poles. Once Earth starts spinning again, it's going to be a whole new world. Picture this. Buildings toppled over, farms turned upside down, and all the gadgets and tech we love, gone. It's like the biggest cleanup ever, but no one's around to do it. But think about what happens after Earth shakes off its dizziness and gets back to its usual twirling. Can we still call it home? Probably, but it's going to be a bit rough around the edges. 
We might need to rethink our vacation plans, though. With the Earth torn apart, let's shift our focus. What if, instead of an abrupt stop, Earth gradually slowed down? How would that reshape our world? Welcome to this new version of Earth, a sun-synchronous realm where life exists in extremes. In this slow-spin world, forget about your regular 24-hour day. Here, a day lasts six months, followed by a six-month-long night. You will be living in a place where someone left the light switch on for half the year and then suddenly remember to turn it off for another half. One side of the planet will bask in endless daylight. It sounds great for your vitamin D levels, but not so much for the local flora and fauna. The non-stop sunshine would turn into an overzealous chef, roasting crops and evaporating water like a sci-fi ray gun. Then there's the dark side of the scenario, literally. The other half of the planet would be plunged into a six-month-long night. It's like the ultimate winter, where plants struggle to survive and water becomes a contestant in an ice sculpting contest. If you're not a fan of extreme weather, the poles might be your favorite hangout spot. The sunlight here is like that one friend who can't decide whether to stay or go. Not too intense, but not completely absent. But get ready to embrace your inner nomad because you'll be chasing daylight like it's going out of style. Now, let's talk about the weather. Usually, Earth spinning makes weather predictions a bit easier. The equator gets the most sunlight, and warm air rises over the equator and cools down over the poles. But in our slowed down Earth scenario, predicting the weather becomes a game of cosmic roulette. With one side getting intense sunlight, we get a sideways temperature gradient. Basically, Earth's weather system gets a major upgrading complexity. Winds would become the new adventures, whipping across the Terminator, that shadowy line between day and night. They'd be like cold air delivery guys bringing chilly breezes from the night side, which would then get a warm-up session on the day side. But let's take a step back. Could Earth really slow down to such an extent? In reality, the slowing of Earth's rotation is happening, but it's incredibly slow. We're talking milliseconds over centuries. So, while the idea of a sun-synchronous Earth is a fascinating thought experiment, it remains firmly in the realm of imagination for now. After exploring a dramatically altered Earth, let's return to reality. Could Earth's rotation really come to a halt? Before you start building that apocalypse bunker, let's see what science has to say. First off, yes, Earth's rotation is actually slowing down, but it's almost like watching paint dry on a cosmic scale. This slowdown is thanks to something called tidal breaking. The moon is the subtle force behind this. It exerts a tiny drag on our planet's spin. It is so tiny that, according to NASA, Earth's rotation slows down by just 2.3 milliseconds every century. But could the moon ever bring Earth to a complete stop? Spoiler alert, it's highly unlikely. That is because Earth is the bigger sibling in this family, with way more angular momentum. Here's a wild idea. What if we used Earth as a giant flywheel system, tapping into its kinetic energy for our needs? It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, even if we harnessed the planet's spinning momentum to power everything, and I mean everything, it would still take about one million years to bring Earth to a halt. And what about other space objects messing with Earth's rotation? It turns out that Earth's angular momentum is too hefty for anything short of a complete cosmic calamity to make a dent in its spin. As we come to the end of our journey through these wild what-if ideas, let's think about one last question. What if the spinning of the Earth wasn't always the same? Picture a world where the length of a day could change super quickly. How would we, our communities, and even Earth itself handle such a crazy change in time?